Hey guys, it's Mr. AJ's Tech here, and today's review of a city to be called Qsar. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. But anyways, let's go ahead and get on into this video. <laughs> So right here you can see that we have QSAR and this is loaded up on my iPad too. So what this is going to allow you to do is actually use applications like Windows. So right here you can see this right here and I don't mean Windows as a the computer operating system but I mean Windows in general. So it's very much like a computer or other tablets on the market today. So you can actually access everything in a normal application with all these windows around and you can even adjust size, you can go to full screen and you can rotate applications. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the city panel so we can just do that by double tapping the home button go over to Cydia and let's just full screen it again so this is by Pedro Francesche um, I'm assuming he is some kind of uh, Spanish person uh, because QSAR I think is a verb in Spanish of course I don't know what it means so uh, that's some great trivia for you guys if you guys want to figure out what that means, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. Um, but anyways, you can see right down here we have the uh, description. It has quite a few pictures and all that good stuff. And uh, this will actually set you back $9.99, but this actually has a lot of cool features. I know that that is quite a steep price, but this is a really, really cool application. And you will see in this video. So we're just going to go ahead and go into a demo. Let's just go to the home screen and uh, we'll go ahead and get rid of all these applications. And we'll just start from front. So let's say we want to, um, let's just put this in landscape and let's do an actual real life situation. So let's say you need to take notes and you need to use, um, let's just say Safari. So you need Safari, right? You need to be looking up information. Uh, sometimes you have to rotate around. So you say you need to be Googling information on Safari. So we just go like that. We'll go over here to load, go ahead and load up Google. Then we just go hit the home button and uh, we'll go ahead and open up pages so that we can type our little report. So let's say, let's go to pages, let's full screen it really quick so we can make sure that we have everything going. We'll go ahead and make a new document. Spin this around, so spin around, hit the home button, you know, and now we can go ahead and adjust how we want these things. So let's say we're over here, uh, let's do our little report on iPhone. So we look up some information about iPhone and we can say, oh, this is nice. Look right here, we've gotten some nice information, right? And then we can go copy and paste, go ahead and type over here, hey, this is the iPhone notes, um, blah, blah, blah. So this is a real life situation right here. Now the other thing is you can also go ahead and open up multiple applications just like this. So rotate around again, and we can go ahead and move these things all around. We can adjust the size. So we can go ahead and set this one really big and then have this one off to the side. So it's really nice that you can do all these cool things with these applications. So um, I'm just gonna do one more full demo and we're gonna go ahead and open up settings on top of these and then we'll just go ahead and uh, let's just go over to here, full screen this one. So you can see that it does work very well. So we'll go ahead and over to settings. We'll full screen settings just so you can see the settings for this application. There are not too much or actually any uh, settings to configure, but I hope to see more in the future. And there are a few bugs, but nothing too crazy and they will be fixed in the future. You can see in QSAR there's only enabled and then respring now. So let's go ahead and open up Cydia and we can go ahead and check out the application one more time. So you can pick this application up in Cydia for $9.99 and this is only for iPad, but it is really cool and it's nice to be able to use your uh, applications in Windows like. So you can go ahead and do it for actual practical use or just bragging rights. So it's actually really cool and it's nice to see really great enhancements to the iOS operating system. So guys, as always, rate, comment, and subscribe and check out more from iTweak.tv.